Operation Mountain Freedom, we are so proud of this event. It's a week-long event that we invite wounded warriors to come here and take advantage of all of our adaptive equipment and get out on the hill and learn how to do things. We invite veterans and active members of the forces from all over the country. We even have a couple from Philippines this year. So these guys are going out today and they're going to be on the mountain and they'll be using all kinds of equipment. Mono skis, bi skis, ski bikes, you name it. We have people with all different kinds of disabilities and abilities here. And then we've also taken them Nordic skiing up at Tamarack. This afternoon they're going to go to the Woolies Tube Park and go tubing. It's really a fun week long of activities where people learn to do things that sometimes they never knew they were going to be able to do again. And we have had wives come up and, and them come up and say, wow, I can do this. This is really great. And, and I had one lady come up and say, I hadn't seen that twinkle in my husband's eye since before he'd come home from the war. They have blessed me so much, and not just me, but also my husband. They've, Matt and I used to ski together before all of this kind of started and they gave us the ability to independently ski together again and for that I can't repay them so I would love 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 to eventually become a mono ski instructor and volunteer with Disabled Sports Eastern Sierra and essentially give back, take what they've taught me and then pay it forward for the future generations coming down so they enjoy the same experience that I did. So the luncheon is a very special uh, time where we thank all of our sponsors, all of the hosts. Mammoth Mountain has been so hugely behind this. The West End has given all of these men and women a place to stay. And we have, it's really great. We have Pickle Meadows come with a color guard. And so they do this whole um, procedure with the flags. And then we have two generals here that will be speaking. And it's just a time of showing our gratitude for these men and women. So. For all the wounded warriors out there, we welcome you. Get in touch with us. Go to our website, disabledsportseasternsierra.org. Contact us, talk to us. We not only have this program and one in the summer, but we have ongoing programs that aren't only for wounded warriors, but we include wounded warriors. So this is a big part of our mission is to really embrace all of our servicemen and women and help these guys re-enter the sporting world and just back into civilian life. Well, I see the effect and, and they tell us the effect. It changes their lives. Sometimes this is that spark plug that gets them going again and lets them realize, hey, wow, this is fun. This is great. And it helps make their transition back into civilian life. So I am a medically retired Marine Corps captain. And my military background, let's see, I went to the Naval Academy, was commissioned as second lieutenant. Um, after that, I went to 23rd Marines, then Fox Battery 214. And then I was a Marine liaison at Vance Air Force Base before I went to the basic school. That. Then I went to flight school, and when I was about a month away from my wings to be a helicopter pilot, um, my disorder started. So at that point in time, I redesignated, become what's called an adjutant, and then I served with Marine Aircraft Group 16 in Miramar for about two and a half years before I was medically retired in 2012. And by being in Miramar, close to Naval Medical Center San Diego, as well as close to all the Camp Pendleton resources, they informed me of what Disabled Sports Eastern Sierra was doing with their wounded warrior uh, programs and I was able to be a part of it. The next big project we have is the National Wounded Warrior Center, which is just this phenomenal venture that we are undertaking because this is great. We are doing a lot for these men and women here, introducing them to adaptive sports, but frankly, it's not enough. These guys have gone to war for us and now it's our turn to come and fight for them to make this happen. There's a very sad statistic that more people have died from their own hands, wounded warriors, servicemen and women, 
then were killed over in Iraq and Afghanistan. But they come home and they get on this slippery slope and they get very depressed and they do drugs, they do all sorts of abuse, and a lot of them have committed suicide. And that's a tragic, that's a tragic statistic. And um, it's just because they're not getting all the help they need. So um, it's time for this high rate of suicide to stop. We can't have that many people falling through the cracks. And that's why we have to build this center. This center is going to be a place for them to reboot their lives and for them to be able to really get a handle on that transition from being in the military to then being a civilian. A lot of times they say that's the most difficult part of being in the military is transitioning out. So they will be able to come and stay here for overnight, a week, three months, a year. The unique component of this program is that it's in collaboration with the Saracoso College. So they'll be really be able to reboot their lives, get a new vocation, and go out and start their life over as a real, you know, feeling useful again. So Disabled Sports Eastern Sierra is just this fabulous adaptive sports school. We are year round. We are all inclusive, every disability, every age group, every economic um, situation that people are in. We will always scholarship people. And by the way, this whole Wounded Warrior um, event is absolutely free for all of those people that come from the time that they open the door to leave their home to when they open their door to go back to whether it's their house or the hospital or a rehab situation. Everything is taken care of. The room, the lodging, the lift tickets, the rentals, all the instruction, everything is great graciously provided by uh, Mammoth Mountain and this whole community. It doesn't matter what your disability is, it doesn't matter if you've ever skied before or snowboarded, and it doesn't matter what your dream is. You tell them, this is me, and this is my dream, and this is my goal, and they will make it happen for you. So if you're waiting and you're hesitant, then you're just throwing this great opportunity out the window. So right now, get online, give them a call, talk to these guys because they will take care of you 110% and not only you, but also your family and your support network. It's incredible. Amazing.